Hello everyone, this is the Navy Kangaroo. Thanks for joining today. As always, I'm a 100% free team and a 100% Tigers deck. So this is, <laughs> they haven't given me anything. They gave me that diamond a while ago in one of these free packs, but uh, it's been kind of junk since. So that's okay. We'll go through a couple basics, but I got a great video. And look at this, two more basics. That's fine. Uh, we are going to pull a legend today. So that's one of the most exciting things. I'm going to talk a little bit about PvP today. But we are also going to feature a couple teams, and I'm going to keep getting through your teams. You all keep sending them, so I will keep uh, keep going through them. So let's go through a couple packs first, and then we will go ahead and get to the legend. Um, so let's go ahead, and of course we're using Tiger. Let's see a prime. Prime, prime, prime. Bam, lightning bolt, and we have two diamonds. I would love to get the Max Scherzer uh, prime diamond for the Tiger, so I don't have to use a diamond upgrade if I ever get one. Um, okay, ultimate, team select packs, we'll go through this, and as soon as I have to do my combos, I will get into the legend. Um, so, anyway, there we go, James McCann, that is probably the Tiger's best non-vintage catcher. So, we'll go this team select pack, let's see if we could get this prime diamond. Let's see, prime, 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 and we have nothing. We don't even get gold, come on. Um, but anyway, so been playing a lot of League Master mode um, so I could get stuff to open on here because I know folks like seeing what I pull. So we're going to keep going for that. And man, just gold. This game hasn't given anything so far. So that means we're due. That means we're due. So let's go ahead and hope for a legend. Legend, legend, legend. And we have nothing again. Not even a gold. Wow, just all silvers, and there's a dude with no batting gloves, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so we're going to go ahead and keep going. I'm going to try this diamond player selection pack. I think that's just one of those where it gives like five diamonds, and maybe a vintage. If it gives a vintage, uh, uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, but there is a decent Verlander right there, and a Judge. Those are some decent, um, some pretty decent diamonds. We'll just go ahead and use that Verlander just because, just because. Um, so anyway, what I was saying is as far as League Master Mode goes, look, um, you all have to be playing League Master Mode. If you're a free team, though, I'll say this with League Master Mode, do not with any League Mode, just don't waste resources on it. Please don't re waste resources on it. The gold gear, all that stuff is, is better used elsewhere now because really that diamond card for the payoff just isn't like doesn't really matter. It's too easy to get decent diamonds. They they rarely put vintage or anything, uh, anything or primes or anything decent on there. Um, so just just don't waste resources. Just play a bunch of league mode, especially if you're running short on resources, whether it's either points or um, points or gold gear draws. Use that stuff for PvP. Okay, so we're gonna do some combos really quick, and we are going to get to a legend. So we're gonna start out with a legend. And because I promised a legend. So I have three of them. I was able to pull one just by chance, the uh, Lou Gehrig, wherever it is. And let me find this really quick. Where is that Lou Gehrig? Well, I got that Nolan Ryan from the Donate Player event. I had the George Brett a long time ago from a, from a legend pack. And then here's a Gehrig. So we have a legend. So let's see it. Legend, legend, legend. Let's see the Denny McLean. That's what we're hoping for. We have, it did not, did that not even give me a legend? So three legends and it just gives me a regular, oh, okay. I thought I actually got a legend from there. So that was a disappointment. So I didn't mean for false advertising there. Man, three legends and it doesn't give me a legend from there. That is pretty crushing. So let's keep going and doing some combos. Man, ah, uh, that's a little bit frustrating. Okay, well, we need something good from this video, okay? We need something good because this is not a good start. So let's keep going, and we have nothing so far, so let's try these gold draws. Um, and, hey, we got a prime. We got a prime, okay. We got a Gagne prime right there, and that's a freaking solid prime. There we go. Now the game's starting to give us something and let's see if we get another prime let's keep going with these primes and let's uh let's keep stacking this team here so yes like i said with regular league play um it's just not worth using a bunch of resources on it just isn't 
so don't waste yeah definitely don't waste your gear gold gear draws and stuff use that stuff for club mode or for uh definitely pvp um if you can if you have it to spare um go ahead and use condition drinks and stuff on there but if you don't have it to spare do not waste resources on league mode you can just you know zip through 15 games or whatever and just collect the stuff at the end so man not even getting diamonds here so let's keep going Ah, uh, man, I'm really disappointed about that about that combo because I really thought you combo three legends and you get a legend out of there. So, but we didn't. So, we'll go ahead and add a diamond to here. So, let's let's hope for some good diamonds. And that was a Bellinger diamond. That was a pretty solid diamond I just dropped in there. But uh there we go. We got a Tapia, whoever that dude is. Okay. Let's go. We're just going to do a couple more quick packs. I'll feature your teams and while I'm doing these other packs, I will talk about PVP. Uh, because everyone has to be playing PvP, especially if you're a free teamer. You have to get those, you have to, have to, have to be getting those those free stars. That is the easiest way to collect those stars. It's like an ATM machine, as I always say, because it really is. You know, you're going to get like at least a thousand stars, um, probably even more. And don't worry if it's too hard, especially the first few games. It's really off-putting. I get it. Um, the first few games are pretty hard and that's okay because the first three games don't really even count. And then, you know, and then after that, even if you lose, it starts matching you up with some really, really easy players. So you could just kind of go from there and we'll just do a couple quick combos while I finish talking about PVP because this is important, right? This is important. You got to be playing it. You got to keep playing it. So the one thing with pvp you got to figure out your strategy okay you can't just be going out guessing and just like you know swing in you know at whatever you think right um come up with some sort of system but the main thing with pvp is make sure make sure make sure you take some pitches at first right it might be hard for you to strike out looking again you hear me say this a lot but it's okay to strike out looking twice in the first inning or even three times but just about every player has their go-to pitch for strikeouts the really good ones are the ones that switch it up but a lot of folks it's just like the the high corner curve or the you know slider on the outside or some or, or maybe it's even the fastball right um but you got to figure out what their strikeout pitch is you know try not to look for the pitch uh, because it's hard to hit the curves if you're just like trying to time trying to time them. Just as soon as you see that the ball's not going straight at you, that's when you know. But don't wait too long to swing. Don't wait until it's like coming down on the arc, right? Um, the only time I've really been successful doing that is when I've um, played a lot of arcade mode. Like I'm talking like 10 or 15 games before I start playing. Uh, we're just going to co combo some diamonds because, I don't know, hopefully we get something good out of here. I really want another prime. There we go. Look at that. We got a prime, a gallo. That is a sick, sick prime. And we are going to go two over. Or should I? Okay, it didn't even highlight one. Two over. Let's see the gallo. Oh, man. Okay, went two back. But that's okay. Well, at least we had a shot in it. And we got one prime from a combo. So that's that's kind of crazy. We got hosed on the legend. We got hosed on the legend, but that's okay. So we're going to look at your teams now, and let me see where we're at here. We're going to go to friendship. And so I have three teams on deck. I have time for two right now. So there's one more that I'll do next week. So I, I got plenty of room, so keep sending me your teams. And uh, I'll go ahead and... Um, I'll go ahead and keep featuring them and talking about them for a second. So we're going to start with the, um, which one of the, I think the best team. Well, there was a Braves one up here somewhere. Where is the Braves team? Um, I don't see it right now. So we're just going to start with uh, the best team. This might be the Braves team. Uh, the best team, 992. This is an Astros deck. Love Astros decks. Um, the one thing, you know, is the catcher. I always start with the catcher because that could be the weakest spot in your lineup. Um, pretty decent skills for your catcher, but, um, I don't know if there's any way he could get some, someone above the 63 overall. What I do like, he's got 73 overall in the, um, in the great upgrade. I do really like this Altuve. Altuve sick. I would black diamond this dude. Where is he in your lineup right now? The Altuve is number five. 
Um, that's a sick Altuve. And then you got the Guerriol as your leadoff. That's some good eye for leadoff. And um, yeah, good development right there. So really like that. Sorry, I didn't see his skills. Pioneer and Charisma. Okay, that's good. And then, you know, here's that Nolan Ryan. And the Nolan Ryan's pretty solid. Uh, the Fireballer, um, Domina Pitcher, you got that dude skilled up, and that is pretty sick. Let me see how your development went. Yeah, look at a lot of that on Velocity. That is awesome. And then you got the old Clemens. Uh, the Clemens, who's pushing 50 right there or something. That's one of his, uh, probably one of his last years, I think. Um, but that's Finesse. I've never seen a Finesse pitcher on Clemens before, but that's good. And Giant Crusher, okay. That's uh, that's okay. 73 overall. I, I, I don't think you get a bad Clemens. So that's good. And then this Morton right here. I love this Morton. And uh, I would really, really, um, I would really, really do a lot to Black Diamond that dude next also. Um, and look at that development. Pretty solid. The one thing I'll say is, um, uh, you know, you got a good closer there. So great team. Um, and if there's a free team, I want to know how long you've had it and kind of what questions you have on it. Um, okay. Was it easy money, Chris? What was it? No, here it is. Here's, here's the Braves team. There we go. X2 fade ATL. So here we go. And starting with the catcher, that's not a bad, um, base catcher, I guess. Um, laser beam table setter. I don't care as much about defense on catching. I know a lot of people really boost their catcher's defense. I just don't. Um, and, ah, uh, that's a shame. You got the batting chemistry on Acuna. Um, uh, it's good. It's good that you have batting chemistry. Love batting chemistry. But um, you you really like that on one of your backup players, one of your players in the uh, – and look at You've done a pretty good job with skills. Um, I like that Freeman a lot. That is a sick Freeman card. So good job on your offense. Here's the thing I was looking at. Um, I don't know why you have this Jackson and – I in like long relief and i understand he's got a lot of stamina right but i would put this dude as your closer or your setup um because you know just because his overall location velocity and most of all his skills uh make him a lot better than uh than the kimbrel um and then you also got the wagner too so the wagner should probably be your setup um and those are good skills on that wagner let me see what this breakdown is and you did a good job developing uh, that Wagner too, uh, but right there he's he's also only sixty five grade increase. So go ahead and uh, you know keep using those grade increase tickets. That's why it is so important to be playing club mode um, because you really really need those grade increase tickets. But great job on that. Like I said, play a lot of league master mode. Really boost up your team and don't worry about uh, at all. Oh, we're gonna do this box really quick. Rank coin box. Look, the rank shot's pretty good. Look at that. Two skill training tickets. That's pretty solid. Those are pretty valuable. And uh, I'm going to be using those soon myself when, as soon as I get my uh, Michael Fulmer closer for the Tigers, um, upgraded to Diamond and um, and uh, Black Diamond, that dude. Uh, bam! Lightning Bolt. Okay. Well, maybe we're going to close with something good. That's why I opened a, a couple last few packs. Still not a prime. So we did pull a prime. Didn't get a legend. Sorry, I thought we were getting a legend today. Didn't mean for the false advertisement. But I got to tell you all, thank you so much. I just really appreciate all the following and the liking and subscribing because I'm just going to keep cranking out as many videos as possible and uh, sharing as much as I can with, uh, with you all. So just remember, if we're going to wrap this up today, remember, play PvP. Everyone should be playing PvP, free team or not. Uh, because it's free stars. It really is free stars. And also the rank shop is so much better. It rivals cl the club shop, I think, uh, in my opinion, as the, you know, two best shops there are. I get it. Um, you know, the, uh, the mileage shop is solid. The event shop is gonna, it, it just really upsets me because you only get the one, um, sorry, you only get the one, sig pack or the one sig card per um you know per year i guess and then it then it closes out so um really really you know the the rank shop they've just added so much to it so you got to play that um and finally i'm kind of sick of this stage challenge thing because it's like you get stuck right you keep playing these and then you know i'm on day seven now and it's just like okay i'm stuck i'm not gonna win anymore i'm not gonna beat stage eight 
and what am I trying to do now? Boost up stage five to to four thousand points. I guess I'll keep doing that, but it's it's just not very fun, and it's kind of a waste of resources because free team. It's all about maximizing resources and allocating stars properly. Star discipline, star discipline, star discipline. I always say. All right, hey, thanks for watching, you all. I'll have uh, a sig next week, and. Please send me your teams. Make sure you send a friend request with it, and I'll go ahead and feature your teams every single week. Thanks for the support, y'all. Peace.